7. Modes of e-payment Mobile wallets Hello friends, we shall talk about mobile wallets as a mode of payment in this e-payment awareness program. A father and son duo go together to a shop to buy some groceries. Father is trying to take out his purse to pay for some grocery items holding his mobile in the other hand. With difficulty, he takes out a 500 rupees note. But the shopkeeper doesn't have change to return the balance money. And she says, Sarji, I do not have small denomination currency to return the balance. Are Papa, why don't you use your mobile phone for making grocery payments? You can use your e-wallet. E-wallet? What is that? Yes, Savji. Most of the customers pay through their mobile wallet nowadays. Huh? Exactly, Papa. Have you not heard of Paytm, PhonePay, MobiQuick, ICICI Pockets, etc.? These all e-wallets are also called mobile wallets. But beta, what is mobile wallet? Papa, mobile wallet or e-wallet or digital wallet is similar to our traditional wallet. Both are used to hold cash. Mm -hmm. But e-wallet holds cash digitally, whereas a traditional wallet holds cash in physical form like currency notes, 10 mm -hmm. rupee note, 20 mm -hmm. rupee note. Mm -hmm. Like I have money in my pocket. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, exactly, right. and I don't have. Mm -hmm. E-wallet is an online prepaid account which may be used for various online transactions. Once a person has transferred the money into his wallet, he may proceed to pay for buying a wide range of products, pay the utility bills, etc. Provided the recipient also has such a wallet. Okay, but tell me, can I transfer money from my Paytm wallet to another wallet which my friend has? Yes, Papa. You can if your friend also has a Paytm wallet. Mm -hmm. But you can't do it if your friend has a different wallet, say, MobiQuick. Because wallets of different users do not support interoperability. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it must be ensured that the payer and recipient must have the same wallet. But that is a big limitation. Yes, that is. But however, RBI has given a deadline of 31st March 2022 to turn all wallets as interoperable by issuers of wallets. Mm. But what is so unique about these wallets? Papa, all these mobile wallets nowadays have underlying Unified Payment Interface or UPI to facilitate transfer of money from one bank account to another. Mm -hmm. Now, one more thing. Do yeah. all wallets have same functionality or do they differ from each other in some way? Papa, there are three types of e-wallets in India. Mm. A closed, semi-closed and open. And they all have recognition from the RBI. Just a minute. Yeah. There are three types yeah. of e-wallets. Yeah. Closed, semi-closed semi -closed, and open. Exactly. Okay. So firstly, I'll tell you about the closed wallet. Right. It is a wallet that is issued by a business organization to its customers for their own goods and services. Okay. These wallets do not allow the withdrawal or redemption of cash. Mm -hmm. Several online shopping and service portals such as Flipkart, Mintra, Cleartrip, mm -hmm. BB Daily, Ola Cab, Make My Trip, etc. offer such closed wallets. But then, how does a customer uses these closed wallets? Papa, users of a closed wallet can use the stored money to pay the issuer of the wallet only to settle a transaction. Okay. And in case of cancelled transactions, the money deducted from the wallet is refunded and gets stored back in the wallet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Such wallets do not permit user to make payments outside to others. Like uh, we go to a shopping mall in yeah. a particular big shop yeah. and then uh, we take a wallet of a particular denomination. Yeah. So that is applicable there only. It can be used there in that organization Yeah, you cannot only. use it anywhere else. Right, exactly, right, exactly. right, right. Got it, got it. So now I'll tell you about the semi-closed wallet. Okay. So this is an e-wallet that allows the user to make payments to listed merchants and locations only and as I told you, it is called semi-closed wallet. Mm -hmm. The merchants have to sign an onboarding agreement with the issuer of the wallet. Okay. And accordingly, the service of such an e-wallet extends beyond payments 
to issuer of wallet but remains restricted to merchants who have agreed to accept payment through such wallet that means to a particular number of people who have signed that particular document exactly right 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 such wallets do not permit cash withdrawal or redemption by the holder of wallet mm mm-hmm. paytm pay you money oxygen mobi quick these are all examples of semi closed wallet got it got it now i'll tell you about the third wallet and the final wallet and this is open mobile wallets okay so an open mobile wallet can be used for everything that a semi closed wallet is used for along with an additional feature of being able to withdraw money from atms these types of mobile wallets are generally issued by banks one can purchase goods and services transfer money and also withdraw money through these mobile wallets mm-hmm. and examples are pockets by icici bank state bank buddy mm-hmm. etc now there's one question yeah that is how can i have an e wallet in my mobile phone papa although it is your choice to download the app you want to mm. but to explain you i'll take the example of paytm app right so you'll have to follow these steps to create your personal e wallet in your mobile phone what are these steps so firstly you'll have to tap at google play store mm. and launch the paytm app launch the paytm app from google play store correct okay yeah. okay then you tap on the profile icon at the top right corner of the screen got it got it then you tap at create a new account okay then i tap create a new account exactly this is the third step yeah right and then you enter your mobile number email address and a password okay uh i'll have to generate a password in this case exactly right <laughs> i enter the mobile phone i enter my email address and then i'll be prompted to generate a password exactly right after that you tap on create a new account create a new account okay and then you will get an otp on the mobile number you entered okay okay the otp will come on yeah. my mobile number you'll receive a text message right after that you enter the otp and click on submit and then you'll have to enter your first name last name and date of birth after entering the otp i click on the submit button and yeah. then my first name last name and date of birth right exactly after this tap on create account mm. and your account will be created with zero balance mm. and you're done i think this is quite simple yeah it's very simple you can uh, do it on your own yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> and and one more query yeah uh, what specific benefits shall accrue to me if i have my own e wallet papa you'll have these benefits by having your own e wallet mm-hmm. so the first one is cashless transactions okay. okay so the user of mobile wallet does not need to carry cash in physical form mm. and small denomination change to make payments mm-hmm. wallet can be used as an alternative to make payment of exact amount to the vendor yeah most of the times it happens you know you end up losing 20 rupees or 30 <laughs> rupees so in this case you won't lose that money yeah and you don't have to take toffees from the shopkeeper <laughs> you can just pay the exact amount the second point is convenience right so mobile wallets have fast emerged as most convenient mechanism to make payment because they are very simple to use mm. just through your smartphone which already carries all payment information in the mobile wallet mm. just enter the mobile number of recipient enter the amount and pay is all that is required yeah convenience is there <laughs> yeah you don't have to go to the market with a fat pocket exactly, and make yourself exactly. a vulnerable target of the pickpockets <laughs> yeah you just need to have your smartphone yeah, yeah 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 the third thing is that you have multiple options so once the details of your debit card and credit card are stored and your bank accounts are also linked through underlying upi mobile wallet the user may choose any of these payment mechanisms through a single wallet for making payment as per his convenience mm, that's quite good yeah the fourth thing is and it is very important that this is secure and safe carrying cash in the physical form is not advisable as you rightly said the person may become victim of pickpocket right you may be robbed of the cash and the cash can also be stolen right right therefore there is always a chance that one might lose the cash in physical form mm. the mobile wallets provide an alternative to carrying physical cash for transactions money in physical form may be stolen cards can be stolen or misused but money in digital wallet cannot be stolen or misused 
Digital wallets are secure with dual level personalized security features because these wallets use only encrypted data. Okay. Yeah. That means my personal digital wallet is secure uh, with the dual level personalized security feature. Exactly, Papa. Exactly. That's quite good. So the fifth thing is that you can have quick and streamlined transactions. Hmm. The mobile wallet based transactions are quick to execute just by tap and pay action. A single mobile wallet may be used for all kinds of payments. If you fall short of money at any stage, just get it transferred to your wallet instantaneously through the source account. Correct, correct. That means my source account will be linked to my wallet. Exactly, exactly. Okay, that means if I have saving, I have a saving bank's account. Yeah. Uh, that bank account number will be linked to my mobile wallet. Mobile wallet. Exactly. So supposing I have uh, transferred uh, 500 rupees in my mobile wallet and I need some more money, I can instantly transfer it. Exactly. So if you have money in your account, you can transfer it right, to your mobile right, wallet. Right. That's that's quite a facility. Yeah. Yeah. The sixth thing is that you can pay utility bills using mobile wallets. The payment of utility bills such as electricity, gas, water, internet, mobile phones etc in a conventional mode is a big hassle. Yeah. Like you send me and I have to stand in lines. It's, it's Right, right. <laughs> it's a you have to stand in long queues and yeah, waste yeah, half of yeah. your day. These bills can be paid through mobile wallets in a convenient and hassle-free manner with the click of a few buttons. Mm. So that means I don't have to go personally yeah. to an office to make payment for electricity, exactly. stand in a long queue. It saves so much time and right. effort. Right, 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 right. The seventh thing is deferred payment facility. So Paytm, for instance, has teamed up with Clicks Capital, which is finance company, to offer instant credit besides extending loans. The loans are extended through Paytm postpaid as a deferred payment option for consumers. Do I have to face any challenges while using e-wallets? Uh, Papa, I think there are two challenges you may face if you use an e-wallet. What are these challenges? Uh, so the first one is mobile wallet payment risk. Uh -huh. This risk emanates from data theft, malware attack, data leak, hacking, etc. This risk is one of the main reasons why many individuals avoid using e-wallets or they even abandon them. Mm, so there are uh, uh, digital robbers also. Exactly, exactly. Right. And okay. the second thing is the availability of strong internet signal. A weak internet signal at a place where you are making a payment may literally cripple you and then you'll have to use an alternative payment method. Okay, now I got it right. In nutshell, what you've said is your mobile phone is your wallet. Yes. Your wallet is activated instantly through a mobile application of a wallet issuer. Correct. Like Paytm, you said. Yeah. Right. Since a wallet has an outer limit on spending recklessly, the repeated and complex authentication procedure is not required to be followed as your two-factor mobile authentication is all that you need. Correct. Right. Yeah. Uh, further, your mobile wallet issuer have also tagged a variety of other payment methods along with the wallet, thereby a user-friendly payments interface. Exactly, Baba. You've understood everything correctly. So friends, cheer up and set up your first e-wallet on your mobile phone. All the best.